Okay, today we're going to check uh, the Panorama. Panorama is a management solution. Okay, this is the documentation of the Panorama. Based on this documentation, you can configure uh, in the policy management. Um, you can all, you have also uh, have a centralized uh, visibility and you have also the network security insights you can automate uh, the configuration um, you can automate the threat response and you have a network security management basically this panorama you can manage all your uh, Palo Alto firewall using one single dashboard let's say you have a uh, 100 of Palo Alto all over the globe so you can just manage them by using a single dashboard so this is a uh, very helpful uh, uh, software so let's try to install this uh, panorama from the scratch okay we're going to deploy this uh, panorama in, 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 uh, in our lab environment we have ESXi here okay so we're going to deploy the virtual machine um, let's deploy the OVF file. Let's browse the um, uh, software. I, d I already downloaded the OVA file. Okay, click deploy. Then uh, just click uh, browse. Then let's uh, select. Uh, okay, I, I tried the version 10.0.4. Um, there's an issue on this uh, latest version. So I try to I try to download the 10.0.3, then uh, this is uh, fine. So we're going to stick on this 10.0.3, uh, okay. So we're going to rename it into Pan, okay. Then click Next, okay. Then click Next. Then we're going to select Thin Provision. Then we're going to choose with some um, SSD or this. We're going to choose the one terabyte two. Then let's select our um, management VLAN, which is VLAN 12. Then click next. Then click finish. Okay, let's check the task, the status. So this will take a little time because it's going to import the um, software from our uh, B center. Okay, so we completed the upload, uploading the panorama. Let's check. Let's check the task. Okay, see, completed. Okay, this is the VM. Let's try to power it on. Then click OK. Then um, just wait for a while. Okay, so again, this uh, will take time. So I'm going to um, maybe post the video again. For the sake of time, then uh, I'm going to show. I will go. We're going to resume our recording. Okay. So now we have CMS login. Uh, don't login yet when you saw this screen. Um, just wait another mo another uh, 10 more minutes or 10 to 15 minutes. It depends on your system. From my system, it took me around 10 to 11 minutes to to be able to log in okay so let's after 11 minutes let's try to log in let's put the username and password so now you can enter your old password and the new password so we can reset the default password so we are successful okay so now we have the access uh, let's type configure then let's edit the management set device config system then IP address space 
then we're going to put our IP address 10.128.2.31 then space net mass okay then 255.255.255.0 then default gateway is 10.128.2.1 then the domain will be our uh, DNS server 10.128.1.12 okay so we completed the changing the IP address of our Palo Alto let's try to ping the device 10.128.2.31 so it is not uh, working this is normal because uh, we need to um, we need to commit the change the one that we have uh, changed on the IP address let's type commit then enter okay this will save the configuration of the change that we have done so let's try to do continuous ping so let's wait see um, panorama is up and running um, we are successful on changing the IP address okay then advance then accept the risk and continue okay for the admin and the password that you have set not save okay so welcome at there are no device group please create one first device group are needed to access policies this is no normal okay just click ok then let's wait okay so this is the welcome screen this is by default whenever you first log in on your panorama it will show like this okay it will give you a reminder like for example this one pan os 8 end of life october 31 2019 these are the advisories okay just uh, do not show this again then close so this is tele telemetry data collection remind me later so okay this shows that uh, we have zero days before commit will be disallowed so and within 24 hours we need to install the license in our panorama otherwise we cannot install or we cannot make any changes anymore in our panorama so don't wait for 24 hours install the license otherwise you cannot do any change click ok this is fine it will try to retrieve the license ok from from the uh, internet from the server of palo alto so we did not uh, receive it we will try to manually ok let's try to download this file okay then we need to save this file it's showing here serial number unknown so we don't have yet serial number so um, you will get a serial number from your regional sales uh, manager like for example if you purchase your uh, license uh, you will get your serial number let's check the license how to how to install the license there are three options either we can retrieve the license from Palo Alto Networks okay um, or we can activate Features using authorization code if you have the code you can enter from here okay okay so I was not able to record the license so what I did is uh, I, I select the the license that I downloaded from the portal okay because I have a Palo Alto account 
where you can download the license then all you have to do is select the license and click OK then it will give you a premium license okay so you will get a 24 by 7 support so after um, manually uploading the license you will get the premium license license and you need to make it sure that uh, you have the internet connection of your um, panorama management interface then click uh, retrieve license key from license server then it will give you the license for the device management uh, license for the panorama management so you will get uh, 1000 uh, devices license so you can manage okay we have now 1000 license this time we're going to check if we can now um, add devices okay let's try to add the Palo Alto uh, devices so this is the one of the serial number of our Palo Alto okay uh, let's copy and paste from here then the, uh, the second Palo Alto uh, let's copy the serial Okay. click OK so we have now the two Palo Alto that are uh, managed by uh, Panorama but they're showing disconnected so what we what we need to do it so that they are connected we need to go to the Palo Alto device then in the panorama settings we're going to add the IP address of our panorama then click OK ok then let's save the changes let's save, this, save the change that we have done let's go from the other Palo Alto as well while waiting for the other change let's go to the second Palo Alto let's go to uh, dashboard network device setup panorama settings then put let's put the IP address here 10.128.2.31 then click OK then commit save the config okay the first panorama is completed second panorama uh, I mean the second Palo Alto the change is still applying okay so you completed let's check and refresh the page see now Palo Alto one is connected let's check the other one let's wait refresh again it should be connected now click refresh let's check well, maybe we missed something okay 10.220.231 it's correct let's give him a next try refresh connected now both of the Palo Alto device are connected on our panorama I hope that you enjoyed this video Thank you for watching. Have a great day.